If you're on Twitch, you've probably heard about their new service called Twitch Prime, which is included with an Amazon Prime subscription. You get free in-game loot every month, which this month includes the new Hearthstone Priest hero, Tarande. He's free, since Amazon Prime has a 30-day trial subscription. Along with the benefits of Amazon Prime, such as free 2-day shipping and unlimited streaming of movies and TV shows with Prime Video, you'll also be able to view Twitch ad-free and get a free channel subscription. And if you already have Amazon Prime, you can link that account to your Twitch account, which will give you Twitch Prime for free. One of the greatest shows of support that you can give me is to use that free channel subscription on my Twitch channel, so that I can enjoy the monies. Thanks. Hey, hey, VLPS. Hey, Trump. How's it going, man? Going well. How are you? I'm excited, man. I haven't played Priest in uh, a good few months, so... That's it true. Should, uh, and should be interesting. <laughs> and boy, does that deck list look great. Uh, where Tarande is there. It's very oh, shiny, yeah? Yeah, yeah very That's the beautiful. best part about Priest right now. <laughs> Basically, the premise of this match is that we're building three Priests decks uh, and they're unique in the sense that there can only be 10 cards that are shared between each one and I'm, I'm hoping that you didn't try to cheese me with like uh like three nazoth decks of just different things oh no i brought uh i brought like uh very fun concepts that could could be good in a priest mirror obviously wouldn't do too well against aggro shamans but uh hopefully you didn't bring the uh the aggro priest that firebat tweeted out about a week back because then i'm in trouble but should be fun all right let's uh get the game started here not sure if i should open with the deck that is probably going to get a win eventually or the deck that probably will not get a win at all well there's some kind of game theory here uh, i think some of my decks definitely have better matchups against some other decks so all i have to do in this conquest format and by the way it's pretty cool how it has been uh, like one year since I think Blizzard has introduced the Conquest format, so it's a good anniversary for Tarande to showcase this best of five Conquest format. Gotta choose what deck I think VLPS would lead with. I th definitely think he would try to lead with one of these two. What do you think about Conquest versus last year's standing? Do you have a preference or? I think that Conquest is for the most part superior to Last Hero Standing because it mirrors the ladder experience. Uh, I think that if you make the ladder experience better, then that'll be make the tournament format better too. Yeah, I agree with that. I think if they, uh, if they updated the game more regularly in terms of balance, maybe Last Hero Standing would be a little bit uh, better. But right now, you know, when there's classes that are a little bit too strong, it, it kind of makes for a, a not enjoyable experience for, for those of you and, you know, just seeing the same classes kind of dominating throughout the tournament. Oh, here's the card I just put in as my 30th card here to make sure that this deck was legal. <laughs> uh, this is the deck that has like, a lot of cards in similar with the other two decks, but just enough to fit in the requirements. This is actually my first game playing Taranda, and uh, it is very, very beautiful. The one thing I actually would like to see would maybe be like making the hero power some sort of uh, blue shade. Uh, here is a classic priest play for you. You will regret this. Wow. Nice. That's an awesome healing animation. Let me try it out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff. You forgot the emote part of it. I did, yeah. You're gonna have to try that again. Not even sure which one I want to use. What does Threaten you say? Ooh, you will regret this. this. I like it. And then you heal me? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not this time, man. Oh, man. Oh, strong play there, Vilfius. Yeah. Go with this one. Tonight, a tale of glorious redemption. Oh, God. Murder, your turn to bleed. Hmm. This is actually one of the decks that I was laddering with at 
the beginning of the new Karazhan season. I made some changes to make it better suited for the priest versus priest metagame though. Let the pain speak to me. Hmm. On with the show. Mm. Very suspicious, yes. I wish I was I wish I was lying, but my hand is pretty pretty clunky right now. Uh -oh. That's a scary card with seven cards or no, eight cards in hand. It is. I'm gonna miss that card. I'm gonna miss Emperor. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Seems OP, but never got changed. Yeah, it's definitely, I would say, game-breaking at I times, wonder. but it, it creates a lot of fun things that normally wouldn't be possible. Praise the loon's light. Oh no. I actually think your deck might be quite similar to one of my decks that I'm planning on bringing. Oh yeah? I figured this would be the deck that we would probably both be bringing, and being that these are very uh, slow matchups, it's probably going to be the easiest deck to get a win with. Oh? But I'm, I'm not so sure now that I'm getting uh, pressured this hard. Um, I have quite a few decks that are going to put on some pressure. Oh no. Don't tell me you brought the Firebat deck. We'll see. <laughs> All right, here we go. I've been saving the coin just for this card. Can you guess what it is? The coin for this card. I was going to say rag, but nine drop you, Sarah. What? Consider your past sins. This card exists. Yeah. Oh my god. It's gonna give you a Sarah watch. Now that I said it. I'd say that's a pretty good chance. <laughs> good thing I'm at 30. Yeah. It's definitely a trial. It's definitely a, a problem right now. How much can you do? Just 20? It's actually close to 30. Wow! Very close to 30. Hold on a second. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's so close. It's so, so close. I need a both, I think. Don't clear the board. I need both. Oh man, if I could have held Emperor for a little bit longer. <laughs> Can you even do 30 anymore? I, that's the thing, I'm trying to think if I even have... I, there might be one card. Yeah, with one card I can do 30. Wow. Well, take a moment to consider your past sins, I think. Am I dead? Wait, no. What is Wait. Will? I'm just oh, doing okay. my legendary. You might be dead with this legendary. Maybe. Pink Rush? Nah, it's not even enough. Alright, solid. Yes. Decent. Oh wait, I think I'm an idiot. I think I had lethal last turn. Wait, did I have 10 mana last turn? No, since I have 9 mana. Okay, so I didn't have- I didn't miss lethal. I did not miss lethal. I think I have exact. It's so hard because there's like different- Alright, I think this is enough. Oh, oh no, 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 no. no I <laughs> oh, I need one mana. No. <laughs> I have like 35 if I had one more mana. Oh no, I don't think I'm ever going to have lethal. 
I actually believe you. I think you're really, really close. Uh, or you DM'd me. One of the two. My dad. 8, 12. One off. Well, you're one off. Oh my god, I couldn't. I couldn't save the emperor. My hand was so. Oh no. Hmm. Have lethal. Four, seven, eleven, fifteen, twenty-four. Wait, that is lethal, right? On the board. Is it? Sixteen plus eight. Yep. Oh yeah, you're right. But I will give you a chance. I'll summon a random legendary first. I don't think that can actually mess me up, but. BM. Backfired BM, please. Is there? Nah, yeah. There's nothing that can. Behold the armies of Stormwind. This was supposed to be my easy deck to win with. Oh no, this isn't good. Wow, you thought that was the easy deck to win with? Yeah, I feel like this is really good in a uh, mirror match. I don't know. Maybe I don't have enough cycle in it. Yeah, maybe playing the flash heal just to get an extra act like card. Just a little bit. Of a the poor choice. Yeah, the flash heal is like a pyroblast for one mana. Yeah, I didn't have embrace in my hand at the time, and it's it's a one of in this deck. So. Oh man, I've got the card that I thought was going to be. <clears throat> the way I reviewed it is that this card will be good in exactly this deck. Oh yeah. Yep, yep. Interesting. Mind if I roll knee. Oh, you're playing it again. Maybe. Yep. There you go. Let's show our best. Good time. Wow. You know, I've only had this card played against me once. It was in a uh it was in a zoo deck. It seemed pretty decent in the mirror match at least, but at the time there was a lot of warriors on ladders, so I just kind of uh Decided against using it myself. Yeah, well, prepare to get infinite valued. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be decent against this deck. I didn't realize you would be running Pyromancers. Um, I might have cut a few Pyromancers because I knew it was gonna be priest to be priest. That's a good point, yeah. Ready for the unstoppable armies of Ellie. It helped me a little bit with the acolyte, but yeah, now it's coming a uh, pest. How dare you call Moros a pest? <laughs> oh my god, typical priest hand again. Actually, you know what? Should I do this now? I think I should. Oh, poor Moros. Bye bye, Moros. Hmm. All right, putting on the pressure. Embrace the void. Ooh. All right. Oh, here we go, the ultimate value. I was hoping that this would be better. Ooh. Across the matchups. It's probably good in the mirror match, but... It's really good in the mirror match. Not against this deck, though. Yeah, true. There yeah, you go. Against, against combo decks. Oh my god, both? Really? Pretty solid. I thought this was going to be a serious contender for priest decks, too. That combo is so good. I thought it might uh, be able to overcome Control Warrior. I think the problem is that 3-4 uh, is just a lot better stats than a 1-3. <laughs> And there's a lot of three fours on turn two in, in this in this game right now. Hmm. But there's Shadow Word Pain, that's such a good answer. That's true. Then there's that free zero mana five five later on. Just a lot of other tempo cards that just 
seem endless. Hmm. What is a man's Uh oh. Bill's priest, man. <laughs> I wonder if there is there a way to generate armor from any dragons? Yeah. Mm, Farian, no, because you can't get warrior cards. No, I don't think there's a way possible. Well, the good news is, in theory, you only play uh, Thorisand once you have enough of the combo reduced, so it doesn't matter that I leave it up another turn. That's true. That is true. But I do get an extra card doing this. I'm sure you didn't have enough cards. I'm more relying on a top deck. I'm like one card off. I discounted enough where if that top deck happens, that's, you know, the combo goes off, but... Huh, maybe I'm good then. What is Elune's yeah, I think ignoring it was probably the right play, because you're just never going to have enough pressure otherwise. Alright, don't get it. Didn't get it yet. Now I got it. Not all who wander are lost. Oh snap. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that would be the this would be the easy stack to win with. I'm, I'm sure you're gonna get a win with it in your first match. Unless you get unfortunate like I did the first game, hopefully. Wow, ah, one turn kill with Priest. OP, nerf. You think I brought that deck? Goddess is my shield. Isn't that cool though that we're getting to hear the Tyrande versus Tyrande special? <laughs> it might be like tough it. to hear it in a normal circumstance. Yeah, I know. I've only played maybe two or three priests this whole uh, this whole month, which is more than usual. I think because Tyrande is in the game, that's why you know I ran into two or three to begin with. Hmm. Priest was actually my first character in World of Warcraft because I respected Elune so much. <laughs> I really like this. Mind if I roll me? Hmm. Ah! Pretty solid. <laughs> oh yes, it sticks. Nice. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh no, what'd you get? Was my combo revealed somehow? What in the world? Huh. It's gonna, if it gets a win and it's gonna be very fun to watch, but I, I don't know if it can get a win and really, to be realistic, hmm. my expectations for this deck is, is very low. Are you doing well so far? Yeah, I know. This is actually better than expected. <laughs> I might win without the fun combo. Hmm. wonder if I'm going to play worse because I thought stole you. Alright, let's try this. Blah. I wonder if Shadow Fiend could potentially see more play in this game. It seems like a decent card. Uh, three mana, three, three. Eh, nah, it's not that good. Well, or Sam is six mana, five, five. It's got a decent ability. It's a fair card. Yeah, it's a fair card. I think in some decks, Shadow Feed would have been played. Maybe Warrior? What is it? Maybe Rogue. Shadow Feed prep sprint. Definitely in some type of like Warg and OTK Warrior with Battle Rages. Yeah. Oh my god, that would make for some broken. Interactions. Light of a loon, purchase. The end is coming. Try a little bit of this. 
die. Oh god. I still don't know what you're playing. <laughs> yeah, so I'm scared to... I've been keeping it purposely ambiguous. Take this! Oh god. I wonder if killing my Alkanai was probably the better play there. Oh, so I shouldn't kill your Alkanai, huh? I mean, there's another way that I can kill it with... Flash Shield Trade, but... I wonder. Are you playing Leroy Jenkins? <laughs> <laughs> Good old Leroy Faceless. It might be some very convoluted way possible. I mean, it makes sense in a Priest Mirror, right? Just very slow mean. matchups all around. Probably running combos in all your decks is probably the uh, best way to build the three decks. Oh, you stole that card. Okay. Interesting. It's probably one card I didn't want you to steal. It got oh, me to God. wonder why in the world that card is in your deck. It's a secret. Man, look at that priest board play right there. Value. The menagerie is for guests only. Wow. The creator as well. Alright, and play. now everyone's about to see why I played exactly that cold blood oracle. My dead. Wait, what? <laughs> what? What? Oh no. Oh, that's actually really bad for me. <laughs> If I burn this card, it's bad for me. Really bad. So I have a 1 in 10 chance of burning the I only card win. I can use to win this matchup. Well, now you really want me to... Now you're getting me to really want to play the other Cold Light Oracle, too. <laughs> oh, no. Please, no. You can bring my odds up from 1 in 10 to 1 in 7. I like that. Alright, let's do it. So sick. Oh, Thorisan. That might have been good for me. Maybe. That was pretty good. I guess I should. Oh. My hand is full. Ah, those burns weren't great. That was definitely pretty good. Maybe I shipped the card to you. Oh, you're playing the top deck. Ah, oh, just that. Only works on the simple-minded. Uh-oh. Can you deal with it? Do I need to deal with the illusionist to win? And not lose? I think you lose if you don't deal with it. I shouldn't have said that, but... <laughs> or am I lying? I actually don't know the math if you lose or not. Alright. One damage. This is why I didn't want to burn Emperor. I don't know if it's enough. It might be enough. I guess we're about to find out. I'm not even going to do the math. I know it's enough when you have like two cards left. I am out of cards. I think it's enough. I'm That's your turn, super I think. enough. I think. It's close. It does 28. When you have two cards left, it does 28, I believe. You had four cards left, so you were only at 13, so I figure it probably still is enough. Yeah, just oh, enough. Oh, it's more than enough. Oh, wow, it was more than enough. Oh. Wow, that was the one deck that I did not think could get a win in. Especially when I lost the Emperor there, but I was praying to God he couldn't deal with the, uh, the Violet Illusionist. I had to throw it down on the board, I think. Oh, right, otherwise you wouldn't have enough mana for the combo. But it's a 4-attack minion, how am I supposed to deal with that? 
Yeah, I know. I was hoping you didn't have like a excavated evil or like Alkanai. Well, you already used both Alkanai's. That's why I was hoping you didn't have like another excavated evil there. Mm. Nice. Got the win in with the with the one gimmicky deck that I didn't think could do it. Well, this last deck gonna be hard to win with actually. I think too. <laughs> that one also. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I should have played the Emperor on the turn that I played the other Cold Light, but... I just really wanted to twist the knife. <laughs> that seemed to be your version of my, uh, my combo deck. Yours was a little bit different with the, uh, Alex. I was gonna put Alex in, but I figured it's a Priest Mirror. Probably don't need the Alex. Right, I actually put it in because I figured it was a Priest Mirror, and I think it's usually too slow to play Alex, so you just do the 30 damage, but might as well do, uh, might as well split it up into two chunks. Since I gotcha, you I gotcha. There we Valid. go. Valid thought yeah. process there. Oh, nice. I actually have a turn two, so I don't, I don't know if I'm not supposed to emote in this situation. No, you're supposed to hero power. Nah, man, I gotta win this game. <laughs> too soon. Hmm. Isn't it sick how Priest somehow doesn't have an answer here? It's so scary too, like, I feel like this is the only class that can't respond to that. And that's actually really scary to me. Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna get punished severely. There's just not much I can do about it. Come on! Alright. That's a lot of value. Oh god. I mean, this is probably my best bet. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Good ol' Consecration. Plus one mana. Yeah. And not another turn? Oh, that would've been bad. Still pretty bad. Maybe I can win the mirror at least. Yeah, I think you got this one. It's not looking too good. Welcome to the I just realized I should have put Twilight Drake in this deck by default. Got a four attack. It's pretty decent. There was a version run by, uh, I don't know if you know Pavel. He's a Russian, he's a young guy, similar to Amnesiac. He uh, he did very well at one of the dream hacks. It was a while ago, before Standard, I believe. But he was, oh no, it was right after Standard hit with uh, double Twilight Drake and double Thought Steal to kind of fill the hand up. Hmm. Oh, that's kind of neat. Yeah, he did really well. He got really far with Priest. I think he got like top 8. It was like Dreamhack Austin. I feel like when Priest is behind now, it's just really hard to come back. Oh, you got that aim. That's a good catch-up card. Yeah, but like, you still have more board presence than me, and I'm I'm, I'm leaving like 5 floating mana now. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Priest float a lot of mana. They do. People thought Forbidden Shaping would fix that, but I haven't had too much success with the card. <laughs> Forbidden Shaping should just be an 8 mana card, because you don't want to play until it's turn 8. That's right. when it's actually really good. Oh man. What if it was Discover an X mana card? Put it into play. <laughs> oh god. The card priest needed. Hmm. In the grand tournament, you win or you die. Alright, let's see if you win or you die, huh? I think my list is a little bit too greedy, so I figured I would lose the mirror. Kinda true, my list is surprisingly not that greedy. Welcome to the 
examined. Oh, do you have the super greedy, um... A dream of Bran, historian, historian, curator? Um, I mean, I have that, but I have even more greed on top of that. Mm. I like you, Vilpia. <laughs> Figured if I'm gonna play Dragon Priest, I might as well go all out and make the greediest Dragon Priest possible. Because I'm not gonna be able to do it on ladder against aggro shamans. This will be the one chance I get to have fun with some uh, expensive cards. <laughs> I wield the power of Black Wing. Right away. I don't think light bombs even enough to come back from this one. I think you're looking for rock and eye circle circle. I knew I should have put Deathwing in this deck. <laughs> can you can you deal with Deathwing? I mean, you probably have like two different answers to Deathwing right now. Uh, I don't even. No, I don't want to show you this card. You know what? I'm not going to show you. You still don't know the concept of this oh, Dragon Priest. <laughs> oh, it's a special concept, huh? <laughs> oh man, this is not a good matchup coming up. You have the combo deck left, right? Yeah, but the Dragon deck can actually put on some serious pressure. Yeah, I have to, I have to get some early pressure going. All right. Well, this is how I want it to be. All, all the way down to game five, may the best man win. It's true. That's why I uh, gave you a chance with that Cold Light Oracle play earlier. <laughs> the goddess nice. is my shield. I'm not gonna be so uh, forgiving on, on my end though. Oh. So mean. <laughs> oh no, this is not the uh, pressuring opening. Well, I have the nuts. Double Acolyte, double uh, loot order. Something like that. <laughs> Zero power? No, what? What? Yeah, I'm, I've actually been lucky with Priest. I've had a couple turn two plays. Ooh, this is tough. You're so lucky. Blessings to you. This is tough. I'm gonna go with that. Thank you. Interesting. Well, I'm not as lucky as you are. I'm waiting for that two drop still. <laughs> All right, here you go, buddy. Ooh. I figure you probably already had a four play. I actually didn't, but I do now, Trump. Thank you. Mm. Are you mocking me? Yeah, I wonder if I have enough dragons in this deck. That might be the issue, actually. What do you think is a good number of dragons for dragon-themed decks? I usually go for seven-ish. Seven plus. Yeah, I remember when Blackwing first came out, people said six was a sweet spot. But I think Blackwing came out before Twilight Guardian, if I'm not mistaken. Right, that was a uh, grand tournament. Yeah, so now that there's more activations required, I guess erring on the side of caution is probably better with... You know, seven or eight. I wield the power of black. That's why I thought that Dragon Priest would actually do pretty well. Got some solid dragons. Yeah, I don't know. I think if, uh, I really think if Light Bomb was just in the deck, I feel, I feel like if they just had like one recovery mechanic, they would be in a much better spot because it, it feels like when you lose board control with, dra uh, with Dragon Priest, it's just there's no coming back from it. Guess I'll take that. Hmm. Who knows what secrets will uncover? Welcome to the exhibit. Is the win condition discovering a win condition? I wish. <laughs> nah, it's not really a. Uh... It's like a, a slightly different spin on Dragon Priest. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing like Cold Light Oracles, Violet Illusionist, crazy. Well, that was pretty crazy. I'll give you props <laughs> on that. Definitely not Ladder Viable. Or up. is it? Maybe if you refine it a bit? I don't know. Violet Illusionist doesn't seem like it fits in a non-weapon class. But no, nah, I mean, yeah, it's... It's okay. You just gotta thought steal some weapons. True. 
What is it? Do we get lucky with this? I remember in priest versus priest matchups uh, way back in vanilla. It was all about whether or not you could thought steal the thought steal, and that was such a huge swing. Oh yeah, you could. there used to be a lot more like value. Like value used to be a lot bigger in the in the past. Now it's more like tempo and just I don't know the nature of the draws and I don't know. I, I kind of miss the old days. I miss those days. What? I feel like there was more thinking going on. Me? I think that's my best course of action. Hmm. All right, I've consulted with the loon. I think this is the right play. Am I somehow dead? Might win this. Is there a way? Wow, I just realized the sick combo what I can do. Interesting to put thought steal in that deck. I don't yeah. know. When I was when I was building mine, I just put as much as much cycle as I could. Makes and I sense. Threw in the uh, burn. I don't think I, I played this one that well. I, I was playing Barnes in mine. Wow, interesting. Try to get the just, Valen. Yeah, I mean, I either get the Valen, the Emperor, or a cycle card. So I just felt just felt right to put it in. Okay. Try to do it this way. I should have done this last turn. Oh no. Circle. Oh yeah. Oh, you had that last turn? Yeah. Oh, I would have done that last turn, yeah. Uh, my deck's built a little differently, so I need that to win. Oh, that's like you're... you rely on that? Okay, never mind then. Uh, this is still pretty decent for me. Actually, that's not very decent. I can't deal with that. Uh. See, there should be no more burst in that deck on the right side. <laughs> yeah, both Holy Novas, both Corruptors. I did tech in a couple Mind Blasts for this exact situation. Wow. No, I'm just kidding. Such foresight. <laughs> equals three, right? One equals three. I'm channeling a moss. Oh no! <laughs> Can you stop it? Or am I dead? Well, this stops it, right? This? Huh? It does stop it if it weren't for my last top deck. I feel like Priest should get like some way to deal with like a four mana or a four attack card. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe that's too strong to have a way to deal with pretty much everything with Shadow Word Death, Shadow Word Pain, plus that card. Yeah. It's probably a bit much. I'm trying to think if I have excavated evil in this deck. Is that enough? Should be enough. Yeah, one more. <laughs> oh god. Ah, uh, this is probably my best bet. I'm dead to mind blast, right? Yeah, proper mind blast. But. I can't afford to heal face, and I can't afford to not go face with the 12 12. 12 12, OP OP. <laughs> not only is it 12 12, but if it dies, yeah, it summons a whole bunch dead. of uh, yeah, scary stuff. It's great in a meta that makes it to turn 10, but uh, don't make it a turn 10 too often nowadays.
Oh, the tragedy. Can't stop him? So much tragedy. Oh. Uh, Are you playing Shadow or Deaths and double Shadow or Death, double Entomb? I got an Entomb in here, yeah. Just one death. One death, yeah. I put one death in all my decks. I figured one was enough. Oh. Oh, God. Wow. Yeah, I was playing the Zoth in this deck. That was the, uh... <laughs> that was the greedy part. I was playing Karen Blood, both the Zoth, Chill Maul, Sylvanas. I might even have you Yusera in here, honestly. This is, like, the greediest... Oh, in this, this deck? Very... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a Zoth in my Resurrect deck. I'm surprised you didn't uh, bring okay. a Resurrect deck. That was probably the strongest I was going default. to. Yeah, something similar to, uh, what's his face? Uh, Mystery Goot was playing some type of Purify, Resurrect... With like all the giants and the seven seven, four mana seven seven, that gets silenced. Oh, did wow, I have a heal to thirteen? Let's see, uh, two. Yeah, I could have gotten to thirteen. Uh, might have done it, maybe. Could have got to thirteen. What did I have in my hand? I had uh, I had like Sylvanas, Cairn, and Chomal. I had like all my late game. Oh, that's possible. I'm not sure how I would have done damage after that, but there might. What did you have to do? You had to. Oh, you had to use your uh, alchemist. No, I would use power. uh, I would use just a car to heal and then heal again. And then, wait, no, I didn't have another five after that, did I? Just the car would be six plus the hero power. How could you fit that plus the uh, alchemist in? I don't think I could have. Never mind. Chat led me to stray. What I really uh, threw was the embrace circle, but I thought I needed that to win. I got you. That was close though. That was really close. Yeah. I, I can't believe you beat me with those three dykes. <laughs> no, I mean, they're, they're pretty good in the mirror. I, I feel like they're actually good in the mirror. Like, I, I figured you would stick to kind of the theme of Priest being like a control deck, and I figured you wouldn't, you know, you would honor that, and you wouldn't bring like Wolf Riders and Leroy Jenkins in any of your decks, hopefully. Right. So that was my assumption, and if that assumption was correct, and I think I brought three pretty decent decks for that. Wow, we, uh, we went through that pretty quick. We did, and you know, those were Priest versus Priest decks, so I was assuming they would go slower. And we did go to the best of five, so good stuff.